one third, one quarter. I think, uh, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's right. Yeah. So I told you it's easy, right? So people that have done it now know how easy it truly is. Yeah. It's kind of like Nirvana. <laughs> okay. You know, oh, he's going for the Altoids. <laughs> I had a lot of respect for you when you were the first one to solve the problem, but now that you're grabbing Altoids, it's diminished considerably. Yeah. <laughs> that dude's brave. <laughs> All right, well, he's the only one that gets to partake of the Altoids, but you still want to, you don't want to leave the room with uh, the bitter taste of failure, right? So um, let's, let's see what you can do. So two people got it. It's really, it's really quite easy once you... Once you uh, Realize it. So once you solve the problem, you can, f you can extricate yourself from this place if you like. By the way, I, I brought all the homeworks. Did I put them up there? Oh, those are the ones you gave me. Here's the ones I'm giving you, okay? So these are all the homeworks that haven't been picked up. So if you didn't get homework one through three, you can feel free to pick it up here when you go. I'll be right there. I got to not forget those because I probably will. I guess I just want to confirm that this is it because when I run that for three, I get that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's pretty easy, right? Yep. <laughs> it's easy once you know the answer, but it's not so easy once you, it's until you know the answer, right? Question? Yeah. Huh? Is that an example of what a Hilbert matrix would look like on the far right? That's, that's what the 3 by 3 Hilbert matrix looks like. Okay, so it doesn't go back down then. So it wouldn't be like 1, 1 half, 1 third diagonal, and then 1 fourth, and then have to go back down. I'll show you what the 4 by 4 Hilbert matrix will look like. How about that? Must have made a mistake, which is always possible. I did? No, that's right. That's right. I forgot to uh, a bracket here. Right, and the key, the key to writing the code is to realize this. These numbers are all the same. So the words I and J don't matter independently, only their sum matters. So because I care about you kids and I know you're under a lot of stress with the exam and everything. Hey, and I did the 4x4 four four case right there. So you just look at the pattern between I and J yeah, I mean, you could do it a different way that's more brute force, right? But that's like the most efficient. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing about program. There's many different ways to get the same answer. Some are entirely more efficient than others, right? Yeah. Um, I have that, but I could do it Really? Yeah. Keeps on telling me something about a recursion one. It's really weird. Oh, you don't want... You see that thing where you have take that command. You don't want that command in the function. You call use that at the pr at the MATLAB prompt. So take that thing out of there. Yeah. Now give it a shot. See what it says. Hmm, that's weird. Recursion limit of five. Oh, I need to save it. Oh yeah. Yeah, great. They're not stealing. You actually help. Oh, because you have the semicolon. Yeah, get rid of that. 